In this video, I show you how to fix BlueStacks 5 lag. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like. And let's get right into this guide. For the first method, you need to go and open up your task manager. So all you need to do is either do control, alt, delete, or alternatively come to the bottom of your screen and go and tap on search and just type in task. And then you're gonna have the task manager just like so. Now, what we need to do is go and find BlueStacks. As you can see here it is. And you need to go and right click on it just like that. Then you need to go and tap on go to details just like so and here it is in this list here hd-player.exe then you right click on this and you need to go and tap on set priority just like so and what you need to do is go and select either above normal or high do not use real time that is too high but what changing the priority does is going to go and give priority to blue stacks over other programs so i'm going to go and select above normal but you can use high as well but just do not use real time so there we go we've now gone and changed it and now we can come and close off of task manager and let's get into this next fix so this next one what you need to do is come down to your search bar once again and you need to go and search for graphics performance settings. So go and search it just like so, graphics settings, and it'll take a moment to load, and here we are. And then what you need to do is go and find BlueStacks. So go and search this list for BlueStacks, and here it is, I've already got mine here. And as you can see, mine's already been set on high performance. If I click on it, press on options, I can also go and change it from power saving, but you always want high performance to go and reduce that lag. If it's on power saving, that could be why it's lagging. But you can also go and add it if it isn't in this list here. So go and click browse and you can go and find, um, you can search for your files and go and find BlueStacks and add it and then go and change it to high performance. That's definitely gonna go and make an improvement. Now the next thing you want to do is actually go and change your settings of BlueStacks. So all you need to do is come to the bottom right of BlueStacks and go and press on the settings cog, just like so, and let's go and search in performance. So let's start with CPU allocation. And the first thing you need to do is go and find out how many CPU cores you have to go and set this to. So what I recommend doing is going opening up your task manager again, because in here we can find out how many CPU cores you have. Then go and tap on performance. And as you can see, we come down to this section here. As you can see, I've got six cores. So what that means is I should only use up to three cores. I wouldn't recommend using over half because otherwise your PC may not have enough cores to go and run. The next thing you want to do is go and set your memory allocation and this is your RAM. And to go and find out how much RAM you have, all you need to do is go and tap on search and type in about your PC, just like so, and it'll take you to your system settings and it's gonna go and give you your specs. As you can see, I've got 16 gigabytes of RAM. So therefore I can probably use up to eight, but I'm pretty sure in blue stacks you can only use up to four anyway, so that's fine. Performance mode, of course, make sure that's set on high performance. Frame rate, you can go and increase this. I just have it on 60 anyway. Then we want to come to the left hand side and go and tap on display. Now, if you're still experiencing lag after changing your performance settings, then what I recommend doing is playing into 1280p. It's gonna be slightly lower quality, but your performance is definitely better because it's focusing less on the graphics and just making sure BlueStacks is running smoothly. So I recommend saying it to 1280p, definitely worth trying that. And you can go and change these, but honestly, 240 DPI should be fine. Then come down to graphics, just like so. Make sure performance is selected, and that's the main ones. And that's sort of the main settings, guys. You can go and change. Then all you want to do is close BlueStacks, and then go and relaunch it. So I'll go and relaunch it now. And hopefully now you're gonna have a lot smoother BlueStacks experience. And yeah, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please go down below and consider leaving a like. Peace.